You know, in this exact moment, in this exact spot, with this exact song, there's no game I'd rather be playing, there's no place I'd rather be, and I'm at peace with the world. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. I know I usually start these videos inside of the world, but I just need to point out how well designed this lobby is, and how great this music is. I know you can't hear it as well as you should be able to in the video, but go look up the soundtrack for this game because it's just glorious. Like, that is, by leaps and bounds, the best written song in the entire game. Um, and I know I said, like, oh, Crystal Caves is best music and, like, all these other places have the best music, but realistically, no. That has the best music. And, like, Hideout Helm. I forgot how great the Hideout Helm theme is in this game. Like, it is so good. Um, like, there's so much music in this game that I've completely forgot about. Why am I coming up here? I need to go to, like, the 3 warp, I think? No, I think it's the 4, actually. Um, so today we are finishing off Creepy Castle, hopefully. Um, there are... Wow, this is exactly where I wanted to go, actually. Uh, there are... Four golden bananas left for us to get, and I think, uh, yeah, just the banana medal and the, uh, the, the crown. I completely forgot what that thing was called. Um, so yeah, hopefully this shouldn't take too, too long. Um, I know where Lanky's golden bananas are, well, golden banana is, um, and I know where Tiny's golden banana is. Uh, I'm not sure where the crown is in this world, though, that's the thing. Uh, Tiny also needs her blueprint. Uh, ooh, I should grab this before I go any further. Um, so the secret to this is to just run. Like, I don't think there's actually a secret to this. Uh, I don't care about picking up all the bananas. I just want to run through this maze and not get the big get out thing, like, at the very end of this. Um, dude, don't get hung up on the wall. That is the hardest thing to do in this maze, is not get hung up on the wall. Um, and I'm pretty sure... The remainder of- yeah, the remainder of Lanky's bananas were in there. There's 30 bananas in that small little area. Um, and if you run out of time, you'll get the big GET OUT thing, which I was kind of worried about, but no, it's not actually that difficult. Oh yeah, the crown's in here, I forgot about that. Um, and it's an absolute asshole and puts it, like, right in the middle of the maze. Like, like you didn't already have a hard enough time getting through this. Actually, getting through this maze is actually really not that bad. Uh, this is, I think, the second last crown in the game. I think we got both the ones in the overworld. And there's one in Hideout Helm that you can't get until after you've, like, knocked out the timer. Which, spoilers, you can knock out the timer um, by just completing the world. Like, quote-unquote, completing it. Because um, if you remember way back to part, I think it was 32, um, we, we had a bunch of, like, laser things that we were taken out in Hideout Helm. Uh, if we knock all those out, then we can go and get the crown in there. And I'm pretty sure that's the last crown in the game that we have to get, um, besides this one. Which, hopefully I don't fail this. I don't know, I had a pretty hard time with the Crystal Caves one. Dude, don't get hit by the thing. Uh, there we go. Oh god, he's shocking too. Okay, so one's Diddy, one's Tiny. I don't know if they're always the same Kongs, uh, cause Splat, dude. That would've been really funny if they accidentally, like, programmed it so that if you didn't already get the blueprint in uh in the world that like you might be able to grab it with the kong in this area i mean only lanky can get in this area i'm pretty sure i don't think anybody else can get in here um but i mean like if you could bring tiny in here because tiny's the only one that doesn't have a blueprint in this world um then you would be able to get like the her blueprint like super easily because tiny's i always have a hard time finding just because it's like way I remember, like, I know where it is, but I don't really know how to get there. Because it's just way off in the boonies, like, for no particular reason. Anyways, let's get the hell out of this maze, because I don't like it in here. And plus, the camera switches on you, which is a big slap in the face. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be oriented this way. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so those are lanky coins. A trick you can do to get out of a maze is always keep your hand on the right wall. So if you always, like walk so that your hand is on the right wall of the maze, then you will be okay. And I mean, your brain can, like, go and see, like, okay, if you were to go in here, then, yeah. Like, you would, you would, uh, come to a dead end. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a dead end, too. Yeah. And up there, and up there. Okay, so we can loop back this way. 
And, uh, yeah, this is just the trick. Like, this is one of the very few things in my entire life that my dad taught me, is to get out of a maze, just keep your hand, right hand on a wall, and you will be able to get out every time. Assuming that you don't, like, screw yourself, and, like, end up in a small little central area where you just go around in circles. I don't know why I felt the need to, like, jump up here. It just seems like a cool place. I think that's a chunky banana. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm gonna get le tiny, uh, and come back here, so I'll be one sec. I decided to get Chunky instead, just because I could go and get Tiny's blueprint. This was, like, the second last golden banana I found in the entire game, because I didn't think that Chunky would be able to, like, go and, uh, break down that door. Like, I really didn't think that he could do it. I didn't think he was capable, okay? I had no faith in Mr. Chunkster. Um, even though I have said during this entire LP that Chunky's my favorite, I just could not find this golden banana. And, uh, yeah. As I said, I've gotten every golden banana once, but this was, like, definitely, like, the second last one I ever got. Oh, apparently if you get hit, it uninvisifies you. So that's annoying. Maybe you can, like, play your instrument in here? You can! That's a little cheap. So you don't have to shoot any of these guys. Hopefully. Hopefully they die. Yeah. Well, that's cheap. I actually had no idea you could do that. And then five watermelons appear, and a golden banana! That seems so broken. Like, it doesn't feel like you should be able to do that. Uh, so yeah, Chunky's got one more that I really don't know where it is. I think it might be like, if I walk along the outside of the castle, uh, I think I'll be able to find it. Because I'm pretty sure there's like a switch area that Chunky can run into that I haven't done yet. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, it there is. But like, let's go back and get Tiny Kong and grab her shit, shall we? That's That sounded a lot more vulgar than I actually wanted to. Sometimes when you swear, like, there are certain situations, like, when you don't really need to swear, but you do anyways, and it sounds so much more vulgar than it normally would. Like that. Like, let's go get Tiny shit. Like, that sounds a lot more vulgar than, like, get, get her stuff. Maybe I can ponytail twirl as I'm following? No, apparently I can't. Well, that's lame. Uh, this is one of those situations where you jump on a mushroom and the camera just is like, what do I do? <laughs> like, it's, it just sort of freaks out and then you have to basically make a blind jump and if you fall down the pit then you're kind of screwed. Um, okay, well that was the last of Tiny's bananas apparently. Um, get the homing ammo. There we go. Uh, that should be enough, hopefully. The homing am ammo is a godsend in this game for, like, enemies like this. Although, they do sort of, it feels like they overuse it in my opinion, uh, for, like, how much you actually should have to use the homing ammo. Oh, there's one more. Where did you come from? Like, seriously. Where'd you go? Okay, there you are. Um, wow, that was... Oh, there's another one. I did not see th these two at all. I kind of thought there was just... Wow, and Tiny is, like, on top of the golden banana, practically. Uh... Just grab it with her gun out. That's two golden bananas that Tiny's gotten in this game with her gun out. That is awesome, Tiny. That was a good job for you. You have completed your task. As in, you basically have, I think it's one golden banana left to get in the game. Uh, besides blueprints and stuff like that. Not entirely sure. Tiny Kong is more golden bananas than everybody else. Spoilers. Um, and if you, like, if you didn't know that, then you'll figure that out pretty soon. Trust me. Um, this also might be the video where I cash in all the blueprints, because... I, I need to do that eventually, and I don't want a blueprint to be the last golden banana I get in this game, although that would be utterly ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna go uh, down to the very bottom, I'm gonna start climbing until I find this thing right here, which is exactly what I actually wanted to find, so there's absolutely no need for me to go down to the very bottom. So yeah, I don't know, sometimes things just have a way of working out. I love how all four of the cold bananas that I needed were, like, right next to each other. That was really, really convenient. Um, because I honestly did not expect this world to be so fast in terms of clearing things out. I mean, I kind of expected it to be one video, but at the same time, I was, like, not really expecting it to be, like, a short video. I thought it would be, like, a pretty long video, like a half hour or something like that. Because I was probably going to do it in one video, even if it was a half hour. Where- WHERE IS THE SECRET WEAPON?! Dude, okay, well at least I got the thing, and shot you to death with that. Um, now these things over here, I'm pretty sure Chunky can punch these, and do a thing. Okay, well it's a combination apparently. Uh, so it's two. 
two, one. Or maybe it's just one, two, three. Yeah, I think the last time the, the middle one just didn't, like, hit me. And then, oh, uh, that thing just goes, oh, uh, with its mouth. That's, that's like, it's another one of those things you can only describe with just a really awkward sound. And I thought I heard the, like, sound effect for when you get all the golden, when you get all the regular bananas before I actually got them all. Oh, banana. Oh, super easy banana to get. Oh, my God. It's so ridiculously easy. Actually, now that I think about it, I can't cash in all the blueprints yet because there is one more blueprint that I need to get. And I'm actually going to do that in this video because why the hell not? Uh, so, basically, here's how it is. We... Oh, I never grabbed Tiny's blueprint. I'm an idiot. Uh, Diddy's the only one actually missing bananas in this world. So, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I'm going to grab Tiny's blueprint, and then we're going to leave the world and go and get DK's last blueprint, and then we're gonna go cash them all in, in Creepy Castle, because that's the most epic place to do it, because it's just the most epic world. So, let us let us go and grab our good friend Tiny Kong, shall we? In form of suicide! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, poor Chunky. Um, I'm pretty sure Tiny's blueprint is, like, right here, too. Well, it's not right here, but it's pretty close. Um, I think you have to jump down one level and then find it. It's, like, way out of the way. It's really awkward. Um, it's a good thing I checked to see, like, if I had everything before I actually went and cashed in the blueprints. Because that would have been really awkward. Because I had this big epic plan of having, like, 40 golden bananas in a row of where I just cashed in all the blueprints. And, like, that would have totally not worked out, and I would have been really sad, actually. Um, so I'm pretty sure Tiny's is over here somewhere. I know it's, like, it's in a place that you normally, like, would never go, which is, yeah, it's right over here, actually. There's DK coins for no reason in particular. This is one of, dude, stop making shockwaves. Um, this is one of the most treacherous, uh, blueprints to get in the entire game, because just look where it is. There's, like, nothing but death below. There we go. That is Tiny's last bl blueprint. That is the last world we need to clear out besides um, the overworld. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So I'm going to exit the level here and we are going to get DK's last blueprint, which is actually in the hideout helm lobby, um, which may seem a little bit odd. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that for the next video. This is going to be a short video. So uh, next time we will go and cash in the blueprints and finish off the overworld. So, see you guys then. Bye!